Hello at Drive's Embed friends. Welcome to this introduction to Digital Motion Control Fundamentals. Today, the term motion control refers to the entire system for motion control, consisting of control drive, sensor technology, and operation in combination with a fast field bus connection as a holistic approach. The modern concepts of decentrally, arrange control and drive electronics, combined with the trend towards modular machine construction, allow flexible solutions for production processes, which are optimized for the specific application. Motion control, harmonizes the drives and production machines and robots. The development of microelectronics, has led to the processors used for drive control, being able to take on more and more additional tasks. The discussion held only a few years ago, as to whether analog or digital control should be used, has undoubtedly turned out in favor of digital control technology. Due to the predictive algorithms, the digitization of highly dynamic controls is also associated with a performance gain. Neither robots nor machine tools are conceivable without motion control. Today, the calculation of the trajectory is usually done with industrial PC technology. These have a very high computing power, and a floating point unit, which greatly simplifies the design of the algorithms, also through the use of design tools, such as MATLAB Simulink. Controller and or FPGA architectures, are usually used in the individual axis controllers. The advantage of FPGAs, is the high integration of different interface components, in connection with extremely low computing time, due to massive parallel processing. This introduction, explains the role of speed control drives, in general automation and industrial robots, identifies the basic elements of the speed controlled system, defines the control objective, and diverses control strategies. Fundamental terms related to, continuous and discrete time implementation are defined. An insight is given into the role and characteristics of the torque actuator, comprising the servo motor and the power converter. In the field of motion control, the task of controlling the speed of a moving object or tool is frequently encountered. The actual speed of rotation, or translation, should be made equal to the set speed. The difference between the actual and set speed, is known as the speed error. It is the task of the speed controller, to keep the speed error as small as possible preferably equal to zero. To achieve this result, the controller generates the torque or force reference. Let us consider the system, where the rotational speed is controlled, with the inertia of the moving parts, the friction coefficient, and the load torque. So, this is the rate of change of the actual speed omega. The desired speed omega stern, is referred to as the speed reference, or the set point. When the desired speed changes in time, the speed reference change, is called the reference profile, or trajectory omega stern according to time. The speed error delta omega, is found to be the difference, between the set speed and the speed feedback omega fb. The error discriminator, is shown as the leftmost summation junction. The speed controller, represented by the transfer function WSC, processes the error signal, and generates the torque reference T ref, the latter producing the driving electromagnetic torque Tm. The torque Tm, is the system's driving force, and its role is to make the actual speed omega, track the reference omega stern, in the presence of disturbances, and the load torque Tl variations. The driving torque, should compensate for the low changes TL, suppress the effects of friction, B times omega, and other secondary phenomena, and provide the inertial component, J times D omega by DT, in the phases of acceleration and braking. In practical implementations, T ref is a digital signal, brought to the input of the torque actuator, represented by the block WA of S. In order to facilitate the speed control task, it is desirable to use actuators, where the actual torque Tm, 
tracks the reference tref accurately, and without delays. Hence, the ideal torque actuator's transfer function is one or constant. Most actuators make use of power amplifiers, with sufficiently large bandwidth and electric motors. The power amplifier supplies the motor windings, with appropriate voltages and currents, thus enabling the motor, to generate the desired driving torque TM at its output shaft. The motor shaft is coupled to the load, either directly or through a mechanical transducer, that may convert the rotation into translation, thus providing the driving force, instead of the driving torque. Power amplifier, makes use of semiconductor power switches, such as transistors and thyristors, inductances, and capacitors, and performs the power conversion. It changes the voltages and currents of the primary power source, into the voltages and currents required for the motor, to generate the desired torque TM. In most cases, the primary power, is obtained either from a AC utility connection, or from a battery. Given the potential use of both AC and DC motors, power amplifiers may be requested, to perform DC to DC, DC to AC, AC to DC, or AC to AC power conversion. The power amplifier is connected to the electric motor, and the combination of the two, is referred to as an electric drive. This, was a short introduction, to the basic elements of the speed controlled system. By providing a bridge, between control theory and practical hardware aspects, programming issues, and application specific problems, this playlist, is intended to help the engineering students, in the final years of undergraduate studies, acquire practical skills, and become updated regarding concrete problems, in the field of digital motion control, and electrical drives. I have a request to you, if you think this channel, is important for you or for others, please recommend it to others, like the videos, and subscribe to it. Thanks in advance.